I don't want to talk much. I'm a Liam Diamond. That's the way I talk. But I love this village. And I'll, when it goes down, I'll break my heart. I think no to it. Ah, then it's hopeless and bloody useless. I don't want to move. And I was been born here. To me, uh, you're having a new life. Aren't you, though, when you come to write it up? Going from one old village and going to a new, a, a new village, it, it's like having a new life all over again, isn't it? It's a ghost town, put it that way. It seems though everything's gone. You see, at one time I could see people walking about. Don't see anybody now, and it's it seems lonely. Lily Jowell has lived at number 60 Penrose Street for more than 60 years. Here she brought up her family, and here she expected to end her days. Instead, she's packing up her belongings and moving to a That's new house one, in a new village, 400 yards away. Yeah. What's so. this mug, Lily? Tell us about this mug. Oh, it's old King George and Queen Mary, 1935. And I got it from maternity home when I had her. I know. Ooh. It's an emotional as well as a physical upheaval. I might be that little bit. It's bad to be, aren't I? I am. I'm sure that's... I'm sure I shall be upset when, when I go. But I'll have to bring in a body. Others have had to do, haven't they? So I'll have to do the same. Old Arkwright, plagued by a methane gas leak from underground, will be demolished next year. A community founded a hundred years ago on the railway and built on coal will disappear forever. It's a process that began even before the leak, with the death of the village colliery. At one time, the pit gave work to a thousand men. Now there are no miners to drink in the brand new miners' welfare club. There isn't no jobs. And, I mean, take that lad. What's he doing? He's only shining on. This lad, another one. What are they doing? Where, when we finish work, where we finish, when we finish, left that school up there, when I left there, I got a job down there below. Quick. I don't think it'll be the same. Somehow or other. I mean, you still have your just, you know, you still have your friends and things. But I don't think the community be like it were. We've got to go down there. No pen and paper. And white ties and white collars, whatever you've a mind to call them. They've all left black collars and ties down there. And if anyone needs any help, we always, we're there to help them, sort of. And uh, same as if anyone dies, uh, we go around the village collecting, we always have them. And the pe all the people in the village, we collect for them, to buy them a wreath like, you know. But I don't think it would, well, that across, across there. No, I don't think it would be the same. Cheers. New Arkwright Town is all but complete. As the builders celebrate topping off their last house, residents of the purpose-built village are just beginning to pick up the pieces after seven years of uncertainty. Most were delighted to see their new village take shape. This one that we've just been in. Yeah, yeah that's the yeah, magic yeah, lovely, isn't it? Beautifully, beautifully yeah. set out. It is lovely set out. Yeah, the first yeah, one. Yeah, they're beautiful. Well. There's yeah. more room, isn't there? You yes, know, I think there is more room, room in, in that one. Mm. Yeah, yeah yes. they're beautiful, lovely. aren't they, really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, they're very yeah. nice. Yes. Eighteen months ago, Norma and Terry Dolby stood on a hill above the site for the new Arkwright and tried to imagine their new house. That's uh, Oh, is that the site then over there where we're going right. to... Roughly oh, over yeah. that yeah, that's right. On that bank side, roughly over that yeah, so, so we're, back, we're behind the, the garden centre then, aren't we? That's right. there. That's right, yeah. Oh. We're behind the garden centre. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely there, isn't it? It's a lovely spot. This is what the Dolbys left behind. They swapped their old house in a crumbling terrace with open fire and cracks in the wall for a smart new three-bedroom semi-detached property on Laurel Avenue. 
it's been built partly to their own design. Here we are then, this is the bathroom. And as you can see, it's, it's greatly improved to what we had over in the old village. Fully tiled, looks very nice, doesn't it? And of course we've got the shower, which we didn't have before. So we feel really posh now. <laughs> The open cast mine that paid the £15 million bill for New Arkwright will dominate the skyline until 2003. By then, a new generation of villagers will enter the 21st century with vastly different expectations. Arkwright is changing. Plans for the village hall include a job club and a computerised cyber cafe. This month, villagers celebrated its opening with a march from their old to their new homes. For Arkwright, it's a journey from the past to the future. I'm hoping it's going to be a fresh start for us all because we've had our ups and downs and, uh, and from what we've been told and what we've seen, I, I think it's going to be great. of North Derbyshire. The festive preparations have a particular poignancy this year. For the people of Arkwright Town, this is the last Christmas before their houses are demolished and they move to a whole new village a few hundred yards away. For many, it's a time of nostalgia. Sally Bowman visited the village, which is about to become history. to go carol singing, you to come in and have a cup of tea or a drink, any kind of drink, a mince pie or whatever they wanted. You to go from one house to other, one house to other, carol singing. There's no like that now, you know. Christmas time in the Lockhart household means mince pies, Christmas cake and all the trimmings. 85-year-old Lily has lived in this house since she was a girl. Next summer, she, her daughter and son-in-law will leave it for good and join the rest of Arkwright in a new village over the road. For the family, it's a time to remember Christmas's past. How many times do you think you've made mince pies here? Oh, every oh, Christmas yes, we make no. them. We make them every Christmas. Mince pies. Every Christmas. Mince pies. Bakewells. Bakewells. Coconut. And lemon curds. Lemon curds. Jam jams. Tarts. All sorts. I've used to make fruit cake, coconut cake. Ginger, instead of just still do now, make ginger sponge and sit down here and do it. They fetch me the stuff out now, mix it all up and put it there. She puts it in the tin, puts it in the oven and I do all sorts. <laughs> It'll seem funny when making them in a modern kitchen, doing my pastry next Christmas. I mean, it'll be like, you know, everything. It's a smaller kitchen, I bet. It, well, I don't know whether it, well, it'd not be that much. Well, it will be probably longer than what this is, but uh, I think I'm looking forward to it now. The Lockhart's new house, along with the rest of New Arkwright, is finally taking shape over the road. It's a unique solution to a unique problem. The old mining community of Arkwright Town sits on a potential time bomb. In 1988, methane gas seeping from underground meant these houses had to be evacuated for weeks. British Coal's long-term solution, demolish the houses and rebuild out of danger. The profits from an open-cast mine next door will pay for the new houses. But at the miners' welfare, not everyone's happy about the prospect of moving. I don't want to talk posh. I'm of the environment, that's the way I talk. But I love this village. And I, when it goes down, I'll break my heart. I'll burn just down that street. Walk down there every morning, 7 o'clock, see me mum. See my friends, every dinner time. I can never get it back. They're going to knock it down whether I want to go or not, so I've got to go. So I'm, I've took a bungalow into the house. I own my own house. I'm going to have a bungalow into the house. And they're going to pay for it. 
that's as far as I'm concerned, and I'll be home. I'll be there, I'll be happy to stop where I was. I think he would have known him back Next door, it's the last day of term for the pupils of Arkwright Primary School. This, the next generation, will grow up with central heating and new bathrooms, and their next carol concert will be in a purpose-built modern school. Two families are now facing their sixth night away from their homes at Arkwright in Derbyshire. But at least work has begun to seal the methane gas leak, which was first discovered last Wednesday. British coal has sunk boreholes in a nearby disused pit, thought to be the source of the methane seepage. Over the next few days, it'll draw off the gas and seal the area. Right, the villagers were guided into the local school near to the pit, which closed a year ago. Then the gas hit the school too and the people were bussed to another at Netherthorpe, where many of them spent the night. Cold and terrifying. I never want to go through it again. In fact, I don't, want it. I don't even want to go in my house again. I'm frightened, honestly. For two or three days, we have been feeling absolutely ill. Doped. After 12 days of monitoring by the coal board, the homes were finally declared safe today, and life began to return to normal. Very aggravating. My children have been upset. They've been moved to a completely different school for a week. They've had to travel in a taxi with a person they don't even know. It's just been upsetting. I would like to get away from here, but I don't think we'll be able to sell a house now. 400 villagers of Arkwright Town in North Derbyshire have lived in fear of gas explosions for almost two years. In November 1988, two streets were evacuated as methane levels reached danger point. Ever since, they've been forced to endure constant gas monitoring. The methane is believed to have come from the disused local pit. Even though British Coal won't accept liability for the leaks, it's decided to pay for the building of a complete new village. Arkwright will come down next year. In its place, just 200 yards away, around 100 three-bedroom semis will go up, along with a pub, a school, shops and a social club. In return, the local council will give British Coal the rights to turn the old Arkwright into an open-cast mine. That's worth £150 million. Pounds. I don't want to go. And I keep trying to tell you, people, but I've got to go. Sixty-eight, is it? Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. So she's been, they've been here about years. nearly sixty-seven years. In this house, mm -hmm. I have. And I've seen some alterations. Let me tell you, not half I haven't. Old-fashioned black lead fireplaces, uh, stone. Well, it weren't a stone floor. It were a tile, red tile floor. Used to get down that coconut mat in my old tab. Uh, peg rope, we used to peg, peg ropes, we old uh, coats, we used to cut up in little strips and we used to get a, old, a peg, sharpen it, make a point on it, and we used to peg a rug, twice as big as that that's on half now, and uh, used to make all different patterns on them. It used to be lovely when they were done, mind you. Ever savvy, the shack. You'd step to on you to shake it. We 
knew everyone in the village, the names and everything. 156 houses in the village then used to intermingle social life, what bit of social life we used to have. And it was, it was lovely. I've been in every house in this village, me, not gossiping, mind you, not gossiping. And we used to have oh, Tim Bath on half, then the tank got a, then the tank got a bath, you had to get a it copper that, lived, that was in that corner there, where that sink is. I'm a Liam Diamond, that's the way I talk. But I love this village. And I, when it goes down, I break my heart. Pit villages, there's not many of this part left in Long Row, same as this. I mean, when we move across there, it won't be a village. To me, this is a village, our crowd, these five long rows and just a couple of shops, pub and a club, school, and that's it. I've never, I've never a minor, by the way. I went down pit once. I thought, I don't want this. I walked away from it. But these lads have spent 30, 40 years down pit. Do you know don't we? Nothing. People in this village, as you're looking at, will help you in every way, shape, form of the other. Whether it's a, a lady or a, a girl gets into trouble, or one way, shape, form of the other, they will help. But when we get across there, no. No. <laughs> I think it's going to change a lot. Um, I don't think there'll be the community spirit then because um, it's more spread out. Uh, at the moment, we've just been rows of houses, there's more community spirit, but I think it's going to be really perhaps just with neighbours and things like that when we get across there. I hope I'm wrong, but I, th I think that's what'll happen. about other things and I keep telling him to do the same but I don't think he does and and funny part about it is I used to be Whitler and he didn't I just don't and it's strange. I just don't want to go well we both don't want to go but same we've, we've got to go we've uh, we've been forced out and we've got to make the best of it Three and eight, thirty-eight, seven and six, seventy-six. Blind as sixty. When you're going on, you don't want to be flitting about. Go on, it's going to be nice. Eh? Be nice, a nice pot of bungalow. Oh, I've got to be nice, yeah. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Well, you've shifted up here and I've got to shift again. <laughs> Back doors 
doors will all be gloss white. Alternatively, if you have your front door stained, you could also have your back door stained to match. The vehicle access to your garage, that's on the far right here, all those doors will be white. Well, I'm hoping I'll have a bit more room for my junk. <laughs> Spinning, weaving and what you have. Uh, I am a big crushed, I will admit where I am. And uh, it'd be very nice having a garage. But there are certain things, you know, that they say we're going to have this open thing outside your front door with the lawns. Can you see me going with a lawnmower at my age? Mine as well, fair. That's roughly where that green. That's right. Green where that, where mound, that green, where that green mound is. Yes. And then if they build a pub down in this. That's right. Corner here. That's right. Well, I think we've, we've picked a good spot there, don't you? Oh, well, it's yeah. It's really good there, yeah. Happy so far, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't realise it. Oops. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> it's windy, isn't it? I didn't realise, you know. it's windy you know, as well. <laughs> it would look like this. It's totally different to what I thought it would look like. It's, yeah, it's really good. Right, go. They sent to our, the lackadaisical at first as regards whether it might be a gas leak or not but suddenly his old demeanor changed within a couple of minutes when he was taking readings inside the house he seemed very very concerned all of a sudden and he asked us to go and start removing people from the houses across the road first of all he told us to get out and all this jokey sort of character went out of him immediately and he told us to get out of the house and get the people across the road out of their houses and off the street uh, he must have been carrying emergency phone because he phoned back to his superiors and they were all there within five minutes. It was absolutely full of emergency services. They say that the village is no longer safe and that you've got to move. It's what? No longer. What, where do you live? Nottingham. Well, it's as safe as Nottingham, this is. This is built on a yellow foundation. Yarns, not. It's built on the sand. They're going to knock it down whether I want to go or not, so I've got to go. So I'm, I've took a bungalow into the house. I own my own house. Mm. I'm going to have a bungalow into the house. Mm. And they're going to pay for it. That's as far as I'm concerned. And I've, I'm, I've, really, I'd have been happy to stop. We're a mm. I think he would have known it, but... These are the external doors. I've got the Knights Bridge and the Amstead. The kitchen. I've had a plain tile because I've had a lot of accessories with fruits on, so I thought it would be a little bit much having such as these, so I put the plain one. Well, we're all a little bit sad at the bottom of things, you know, wondering, well, it's my home at the end of the day. I've lived here all my life, going to another property. So what I've got to do is think, well, let's hope I've got another 20 years ahead of me to have a good home there. Well, every resident in the village has had this information pack given to them, and which we can uh, choose various um, kitchen equipment and bathroom equipment out of it. And uh, I can just show you here. Um, this is the one that I've personally chosen, and it's the Beverly kitchen unit, and it's made of wood. And if I just turn the page, I can show you um, our bathroom sweet there and we're having it in champagne
many times do you reckon you've made mince pies here? How many times do you think you've made mince pies here? Oh, every Christmas we make, them. No. we make them every Christmas. Mince pies. Every Christmas. Mince pies. Bakewells. Bakewells, coconut. And lemon curds. Lemon curds, jams. jams. All sorts. I used to make fruit cake, coconut cake, ginger. Instead of just still do now, make ginger sponge and sit down here and do it. They fetch me the stuff out and I mix it all up. And put it, they, she puts it in the tin, puts it in the oven and, and do all sorts. I don't think it'll be the same somehow or other. I mean, you still have your just, you know, you still have your friends and things. But I don't think the community be like it were. You see, when it were old middens and that, people used to, old toilets outside, people used to sit outside in summer and they used to shout and talk to one another. But it's made it worse since people have fenced off. One did it, so they all did it. To be more private. But it's not been sane since. Everybody knows each other. You know what you've done and what he's done and what he's done and what he's done. That's the trouble with this village. It never ought to be knocked down. What they done at Spike? They've knocked that down. What they made of that? <coughs> Nothing. They knocked Bond's main down. What they done at that? Nothing. What are they going to do with this? Nothing. altogether different to what it's bigger than you normally it would be i think yeah you don't normally give your gardens like this on new estates now it's generally just a about four inch mm. of grass i can see my new curtains i'm going in this <laughs> in this chalet it'll look good yeah. mm. come on with cards yeah. 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 So, are you going to look at them that's fully done then? Yeah. Before we go to the next one. I should probably have to have a two seat. Yeah. Yours is ready. A three seater and one chair, or otherwise, you know, you can't roll it now. How does it look? What, your camera? No, no, the houses, where you come, come to live. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not satisfactory to my liking, any of not to what I've got. Julie, you can swing your head around. Julie, you, can, yeah, you love cool. kitchens, don't yeah. you, what you've oh, seen? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Great big kitchens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't like windows to set, have we? Well, I think that one of, of what's names is yeah. lovely. That, that yeah, one of, uh, of uh, Amy's. Yeah, yeah, that that it's, it, I think not it, Doug, it's, that um, one. it's this sun. one that we've just been in. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think that's lovely. Lovely. Yeah. 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 lovely. It is lovely set out. And that is. Yeah, the beautiful. There's more room, isn't there? Yes, I think there is more room in that one. Yeah, the beautiful, aren't they, really? They're very nice. Hello there. And they've got lightings up, haven't they? Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Plenty of cupboards. Yeah. yeah. But it's a pity that they don't put you a few more cupboards in if yeah. you want yeah. to, isn't it? Yes, but we could really do it. Yeah. Although there's plenty, there looks more in yeah. 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 In, yeah. in there. It does. Yeah. In Stevens, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. 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 It's lovely, that mm. is. Happy in your new home. 
Thank you very much. Very Thank pleased you. to be able to help you. We a little bit apprehensive of moving. Uh, we've got a nice new property here. We, we're moving into a bungalow instead of a house. Uh, hopefully we're going to have uh, as happy a time over here as we did there. They're very nice, the houses are, but it'll be better when everyone lives over here because there's that much dust about now and there's a few problems with some of them. The house was flooded and we've got a tide mark all around the bottom of the same here. We haven't put the carpets down yet because uh, the, it's just drying out. You see, and it started going mouldy there. We're going to try and get a cyber cafe in here so people can have a cup of coffee, grab a chocolate donut and surf the internet for 15 minutes. People don't understand it. Nursery cottages, nursery farm. Hey up now, it's coming up me out here. <laughs> they want to know about the bloody village and I'm trying to tell them. You tell them, Russ, have one of the points on. I know bloody well then. <laughs> They've took me gardens off me. Could I left them alone? You have lost what's up to your friend. to move house. There's memories over here, you won't know where you're going over, over there. It's a ghost town, put it that way. Everything's gone. There's not many villages, so we don't see anybody now. There's just as on four or five of us here now. You see, at one time, when I was sat in that chair there, I could see across and I could see people walking about and one message. Don't see anybody now, and it's, it seems lonely. Put it that way, lonely. today from the old village to the new is to provide a symbol of solidarity and togetherness. We can have laughs and jokes. We can have, we, we can have laughs and jokes and it'll, it'll still not be the same. I don't care who is going to say it. This is the bathroom and as you can see it's, it's greatly improved to what we had over in the old village. Fully tiled, Looks very nice, doesn't it? And of course we've got the shower, which we didn't have before. So we feel really posh now. <laughs> We're quite happy here, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. really. I wouldn't go back. As a, as a, as a matter of fact, uh, the first three nights were full nights rest. I never thought I, I would say there. that. I never thought I would have believed, if anybody had said it to me, that... I would say I didn't want to go back because I was born in the village, you see. I've lived there all my life. But no, I wouldn't go back now. Not now we've got this. I, I like it too much and we're quite happy. Don't forget to hold our cry as the years roll by. The place where we were bred and born and all our memories lie. The terraced houses, five long rows, with chimneys puffing smoke. The people, they were friendly, kindly, helpful folk. Someday soon, perhaps we'll say, 
we are glad we moved across the way. For the older folk, women and men, it'll never be the same again. Okay, we are on.